Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Device Manager to update device driver and roll back an updated device driver in case it doesn't work or creates problem. I'm using Windows 10 environment. I will go to Device Manager from the Start menu. And then the Device Manager shows the list of available devices. Here I'm going to expand the ports group. And then there is one communication port, COM1. I can disable any device by right clicking and then selecting disable device. So this device is not available anymore. I can enable it again by right clicking and then select enable device. Also, I can see other properties of the device by right clicking and then select properties. The general tab is showing the device current status and it says the device is working properly. Also, there is a driver tab from where you can manage drivers such as update driver and disable device or uninstall device. In the resources tab, you can see the IRQ number of a device. Now I'm going to update device driver for this device. So I will right click on it and then select update driver. I will select the option search automatically for driver. And then it's showing the currently available drivers. Also, it can search for updated driver in Windows Update. I will go back. Then if I want to use a driver that was not found in search automatically for driver item, then I can go to browse my computer for driver and then select a different driver. I can also choose a driver from a list of available drivers by selecting the last option. And then if the list of driver is not available in the compatible hardware list, then I can uncheck show compatible hardware and then it will show all available drivers. Let's select a driver that is not made for this device. So I'll select a manufacturer and then select a model from that manufacturer and then install the driver. So I will go next and it's giving me the warning of the update because it's not compatible. So we'll continue with yes and then it selected the driver from this specific manufacturer. So we'll close it. Essentially that device Comport 1 took a driver which might be not compatible and it might create problems. In case you find that after updating a driver it is creating problems, you can always go back which is known as rolling back a device driver. To roll back a device driver, I will right click on the device and then go to properties. In the driver tab, there is a roll back driver button and I can select this button to roll back to a previous version of the driver. Here I will choose the second option, previous version of the driver performed better and click on yes. So the driver has been rolled back. If I close, I will see the previous name of the device in here. While updating a device driver, if Windows itself cannot find the device driver, then I can download a driver from the internet and can install from the downloaded file. For example, if I want to use a driver for a printer from a downloaded file, then I can go to the printer list and then select the downloaded file in update driver wizard. So I'll go to update driver wizard again. And I will select the option browse my computer for drivers because I downloaded it. And I will select the option, let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. And then I will select the option, have disk. 
In the Help Disk option, I will browse to the folder where I downloaded the driver and then select one of the available device. So I'll select Open and then click OK. It will show the list of available printers in that specific folder. So I will select the printer. Go next. Again, this printer driver is not compatible and it may not be accepted at all. So let's try. And it's showing that an error occurred during the installation of the device. The driver cannot be installed. If you have a valid printer driver for a printer and it was downloaded from an authentic source, then you will be able to update the driver. Also, if you connect a device with your computer and it is not automatically detected, then you can use this scan for hardware changes button and then it will try to find the newly attached device and you can update driver from there. I hope you found this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.